三年了。最短的三个月，最长的干了有三年。最长就干了两年左右，最短的话就是干几天。最长的话干了将近两年半了吧，然后最短的就是三个月。就是一般的话是因为身体原因。时间短的就是不适合自己，时间长的就是。环境了，工资了，都有关系。不太适合自己的生活，工作那个工作的环境，工资，工作的时间。Hello and welcome to this edition of Crossover. I'm Qi Xiangjun. Hello from Beijing. I'm Louisa Lee. And it's so obvious the setting is different. I know this is quite exciting. Have, we have more guests in the house today. It, it's like we have we we have a special program. This yes. is indeed a very special program. We're going to talk about the. Uh, Generation gaps, which sound in a generation. I, I would yeah. say generation in, or generations. I mean differences between different generation values, beliefs, so ideology. There is a central line. So this I is am the access of Beijing <laughs> telling younger generation and the older generation. Actually, I think I'm in, in the middle. Mm -hmm. I'm more in the middle. Yeah, well, I put you on the younger mm -hmm. side. Okay, so good. You that's should good. be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're now joined in the studio by our five guests, um, divided by different generations. I mean, sometimes it's sad to say that, but anyway, that's the fact. And then we have our very own Ling. Hello, everyone. So my name is Lin, and um, I'm one of the directors of Crossover. I've uh, been with the show for three years, and uh, most important, I am a 90s generation. Most important. <laughs> <laughs> We're also important in the 80s, the 70s, or the 60s. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Su Jia Qi. I just got my master's degree and uh, uh, got the job uh, and uh, it starts on July. And uh, I was born in 1993. I think I'm the youngest uh, guy here. <laughs> the youngest. Most importantly. <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly. Yes. Um. Hi everyone, I'm Jia Li, I'm Jia Li Yuan. I was born in 1992. I'm now kind of working for myself because I'm promoting Adriel One. Um, that's her bar and the restaurant. We're trying to um, open more stores in China. Here is a quote saying, co-founder of the most popular bar in Shenzhen. Oh, uh, it's quite <laughs> popular in Shenzhen. <laughs> I mean, 90s, they're all, always super confident. So three of them are the 90s babies, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll see. Okay. And on this, side, on this side, we have, I don't know how we're going to put ourselves, I, I put myself on, on your team. Anyway. Hi, please. unfortunately, I'm sitting on this side, and my name is Jenny Tang, like it or not. I'm born in <laughs> the 60s. I'm proud to be in, in that generation. Uh, looking at, they are my kids' age. Hi, I'm Leslie. I always feel like I should be sitting over there, but you know, since I'm sitting here, so accepted. I'm not going. To, I'm not going to tell you Leslie how old I am, but I'm from 70s. <laughs> Both of you've been uh, in our show before. Uh, yes. About a different topic. That's correct. Yes. Last time it was about. Uh, it's about the Mingshu. And you were working for trip advisor. Okay, and now you're now. I was for uh, West Wing. You changed your job. Well, yes. <laughs> so how long did you stay at a previous job? <laughs> well, my shortest. Job duration is three plus years. The longest one is ten years. For last job, which mm. is almost like six years. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. But uh, we have to explain why we're doing this episode. Basically, we're saying people born in different generations, say uh, 80s, 60s, and 70s or 90s. We suppose people have different values, different lifestyles. Whether or not that is true, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see whether you agree with each other and on we, the three topics. And we have people from different generations or different age gap because we have 60s, 70s. I represent the 80s. 80s, 70s. 70s, 90s. Yeah. You're the. Uh, well, in, I'm in the by middle. myself today. Yeah, yeah. I'm on this side. Anyway, I'm supposed to be the chairman, so <laughs> <laughs> you're on your own. Um, the first topic we're going to uh, talk about is about work, about you know, how, how often do you change jobs? Do you think there are differences at all? Uh, I can feel from our uh, resume coming into our office, people, the younger people, they have less duration of each job. And for me, like the, probably the shortest is four or five years. Okay. And for this job, I've been staying more than 15 years. So what about this side? I haven't started a job. <laughs> <laughs> You're out. Yeah, uh, zero. <laughs> uh, what about you, and before um, you started your own business? Yeah, the shortest one I worked for was for a media company. I was there for three months. 
and I, I thought I really had to go. And um, uh, the longest one, I worked in an NGO for three years. Why did you leave the job for uh, after only three months? Um, that one was working in a media company. I okay. was just graduating. Um, because I really love movies. I like watching movies. I took movie courses in the college. That job was about promoting Chinese movies to all over the world. I think, oh, oh my God, it's very cool. I should do that. But after working, I found, I realized it's totally different. If you like watching movie, that doesn't mean you can do something in the movie industry. Mm -hmm. When I saw my colleagues, they worked really hard with full interest. So they kind of work day and night. But at that time, I thought myself, I didn't have the um, impulse to learn more. Well, and, what's most yeah. important for you? I think the personal interest would be personal the interest. Most interest. For my scenario, uh, at the beginning, I got two options. Uh, company A, company B, I will call them. And both of them pays me already high enough. But the company A pays me like much higher, like 50%. So but the position in company A, it's like not in the center area of that industry. Meanwhile, the position of com company B like play a very important role. At this situation, I don't know what you guys would going to choose. It seems company B has much more future for me. So pay is not the only thing you consider? Mm. Uh, pay, good pay is very important. It uh, can make me fe feel secure and uh, improve my life quality. Uh, another thing confirmed my mind, finally. Uh, one day I saw a new product of company B on the internet. I thought it's beautiful. It looks beautiful. So I asked my old schoolmates who, who have already worked in company B with similar position I got. So I asked him, did you take part in this program? I think it's beautiful. He answered, come on bro, it's ugly. You can have a better choice at this price. But yes, we designed this. Uh, after this conversation, uh, I think Nothing can, can, can compare this like feeling that when you, on a, when you see a product on the street, you can tell your family and your friends, uh, my colleague and I designed this. The sense uh, of achievement. Yeah, mm -hmm. a sense of achievement. I feel proud and satisfied. Or failing. So uh, what is most important to you? I think the personal interest, the satisfaction from the job is the most important thing. I was in a job for three months and I didn't really like it because what it offered is quite different than what I was promised. I thought I was, I was able to go out to different events and then contact different people, but in the end I was sitting in a cubicle writing emails to different people. So that was mm. quite different than what I had imagined. And the reason why I've been with this team for three years and hoping to stay for longer <laughs> is because it really has something that uh, that's interesting. Every day is different. So there's right. a commonality here. It's based on interest, right? And the shortest duration is three months to three years. Mm. So Shall we move on? Yeah, we should, let's, side? let's move yeah. on. Okay. How about, how, no, let, let's, yeah. before we move on to that, what is your shortest duration in terms of work and all, what is the longest duration? I only had two jobs for mm -hmm. now. Oh. The longest, that is the job the that I'm right? doing, nearly 20 years. 20 years. Before so you, this, so you should be years. sitting over there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they're saying personal interest is most important to them. What about you? What is most important for you? Personal interest is, could be a very interesting thing. Right? For my first job, I've been working for a bank in Hong Kong for three plus years. Uh, the reason I chose the bank because it's uh, the, one of the most secure and respectful kind of job in Hong Kong, right? I, honestly, I learned a lot from the job. But during the time, I thought that was my interest because, you know, doing financing in, in Hong Kong is great. Everybody mm -hmm. likes it. But I realized during the three years, my real interest is not really doing an operation for a bank. It's actually in the internet area that I can do things like reshaping the lives of millions. So the most important thing for me is like when you wake up, do you still really want to do this job? Do you still want to go back to your office to do the things you do every day? I think that for me is the most important thing. So in my generation, when I uh, get into university, there's a major you have to choose. And once you choose that major, then I, I went to U.S. After graduation, the major is, regardless personal interest, is where you can find a job. So find it's, a job. 
to yeah. support yourself, to survive. That's right. the first thing. That's the basic. Mm. And to change job still in the same area. So I haven't changed my career, I say career, for the whole life. It's all then. about landscapes. Yes. Landscapes design. About landscape architecture. Yeah. I mean, I have talked to you know, people that are a bit older than me. And I, I hear this a lot when you say, when you ask them, hey, do you like your job? They're, they're like, what are you talking about, like or not? I do it because it's a job. It, 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 you know, I make enough money to, to, to have a to decent life, to, to support the family. Mm. It's like, it doesn't matter if you like your job or not, it's a job. But it seems like from what we're seeing today, like the younger generation, it's more about focusing on their interests and, and self-fulfillment. Well, there is also one more argument, and that is about responsibility. This thing, I mean, I, I get this a lot from my parents when I was younger, and they're saying, whatever, there is anything coming up, and they'll say, no, take, uh, you know, work is more important. Don't worry about us. You don't have to come back to see us. I mean, the work is more important. And in their eyes, that's the responsibility one should have. Lots of things has changed, but there's <coughs> something you never changed. The responsibility thing is like, ultimately, even I'm from relative you know, older generation, I still feel like the ultimate responsibility is to yourself. You have to be responsible for your life, for your career, right? Everything you have done, they'll have a consequence. It will bite your back. It may not be now, but eventually it will bite your back. One of the very funny things that my friend told me is that if you want to make a very fine sparkling wine, the champagne, you have to put this champagne in a very dark underground wine cellar for at least four and five years to make the finest wine. Well, if you put there less than three years, you still can make a very, well, okay mm -hmm. champagne, but you cannot put which year on your product. So, I mean, you would never say that four and five years is a waste or irresponsible. It's very much depending on how you want to choose your life and ultimately responsible for your career and your development. So basically you're saying you're all champagne, but you're all bubbles only. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say the younger generation prioritize a more healthy work-life balance compared to the previous generation? It's always about choices, right? So mm -hmm. different generation put different priorities. I, was, I won't say it's a good or bad thing. Mm. Yeah. I agree with him. It's like uh, understand your job uh, to learning skills and uh, have a good understanding on your industry it takes time. At least, like as my uncle said, at least two years when you start a new job. So you work for at least two years on, on yeah, this Yeah, I think I will like uh -huh. working. It's a promise. This is TV. <laughs> 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 your company will hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're encouraging you. <laughs> So right. I try my best. Even I feel like a little bit suffer or, or life is tough, I think I will try because I yeah. have to do this. O otherwise, I'm wasting my time. Do you think it is irresponsib uh, irresponsible if you quit the job for too soon? I think not a res irresponsible for, for their parents or the company. It's just uh, irresponsible for themselves. Good point. Thank you. I think when you look at a person's resume, if you see someone jumping ship all the time, like if you only have like a track record of three months, two months, one month, then for the employer, they might question if you like whether if you're responsible. I would say at least stay in the job for like a year or two or three. It looks better on your resume. It tells that you are a more responsible person and you did give time for this position to both for like the job to learn about you and you to learn about the job. But I do have friends where they quit like after a month because the work environment was just way too to toxic. It was way too political for her and she wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. So um, she did make a really good decision and uh, apply for a new job, although the work is really like tiring, but she's okay with it now. So yeah. personal feelings, how do you see the job, yeah. how do you feel while working, that's important it's too. It's important. We were talking about this earlier. For us, um, it's about the interest, about the hours as well, but also whether if you get respect or yes. from your supervisors, your boss, because mm. we are young, but we are also people. We have feelings and emotions. If we do something wrong, then you could tell us uh, in a polite way, we will get it. So am I right so if I say for the older generation, no, for the left side of <laughs> the generation. Anyway, uh, it's more about the external factors. It's about the job, it's about, about the pay, it's a, about, you know, Long for the younger goals, generation, yeah. it's more about the personal, internal mm -hmm. factors, how I feel about this mm -hmm. job. 
whether this is you know convenient for me to commute to work and home, whether you know it makes me proud and thing, things things like that. I guess if there is a difference, probably that's the biggest difference. They are young; they can make mistakes. <laughs> right. They're young. They whatever they can do, they yeah. can do. And if not, the parents are backing them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. I, I guess we we get the feeling there are differences, <laughs> but you know, not fundamental differences. Right. It's only the uh, the I would say just generation gap because the society is different now as progressing. Let's move on to the next topic, which I think is more interesting. It's about relationships, right. about marriage. About Ooh, love, right? That's, yeah. that's fun. That's fun. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. The heated discussion continues. Stay with us. Chen Zhen, just because the game is fun, ah, too much for the two of us. Too much. Go 然后要相互的就是包容对方，然后很麻烦嘛，然后再加上现在人比较就想要自己的空间吧。Welcome back to the studio. And earlier we were talking about the idealism in the office. Now we want to talk about something more exciting than that. Relationship. Yes, love. <laughs> well, I said relationships. You said love. I can't love. Anyway, that. we have a new guest, Emma, and 90s. 90s. What do you do? Uh, I'm, right now, I'm working as an online journalist uh, for a WeChat official account called How To. Yeah. Yeah. Are you also a director? Is that why you are looking at the camera? <laughs> or because you I warned before. I was watching um, what you've done, and I thought maybe I should make things more easier for yeah. you. Yeah. Well, it is easy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> easy okay. going. No, right. no, yeah, no problem with that. Yeah. So about relationships, and remember the clip we just saw. Everyone, the question is, why do young people prefer to stay single? Maybe not prefer, no, no, but no. maybe they don't mind being single, yeah, right? Yeah, to start with, are you all single? We're all single. We're all single. Oh. Okay. We're going to have QR codes here yeah. and <laughs> our profile and get to know us better. We will deliver the message to you okay. guys. Okay. Why, why it's all single girls? Hmm. And the boy is gone. Because, Jackie is because, gone. Because he's not single. He's not single. <laughs> so the question is for you then, do you prefer to stay single? Or do you guys don't mind being single? Breaking mm -hmm. up is very troublesome. Mm -hmm. Say if you moved in together, sharing an apartment, you bought a lot of furniture together, and when you break up, relationship doesn't work. You have to divide up your, uh, what do you call it, like uh, properties. If you have, you raised a cat together Why or you think a puppy together. Exactly. <laughs> Why do you think I mean, I'm breaking it's up only before? about relationships. <laughs> you you, you're you're dating someone. Already. It's not you have to live with him. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> But eventually, you know, like you want to move in together and find a <laughs> She's companion. She's about the end oh, result. Oh, she yeah. too much. Yeah. <laughs> Emma? I would say the whole process is just too consuming for me. Consuming? You mean yeah. time consuming or I mean, effort wise? Or um, the, all the costs, like the time consuming thing. And well, it's just so difficult to, to get start. As so from you're the, the one who pays all the bills? No, 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 no. But I did met, uh, met someone who asked me to pay for the bill, and he feels totally fine with that. Uh, are you okay with it? Um, I would see if it's an like go Dutch thing, or he just thought it's well the girl's responsibility to pay the bill. Mm. And it turns out that this guy is just. I would say he didn't have that much experience about dating, mm -hmm. so I would question that if he's the right person for me to start yeah. a relationship with. Yeah. So Let's just say he's not the one for you. Yeah. 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 You know. um, I have been single for three years now. Actually, I had, I had been in relationship for five times, so it's not like I've never dated anyone, but I... You put it in the QR, <laughs> QR code for me. And after that, I found like I got to know myself better, and I got to know what I really want. So um, I kind of 
like people would say I have a very high standard, mm. but I think it, it's because I couldn't afford to um, start a relationship that's meant to be with no ending. Do you get any pressure from your parents at all? Yes. Yeah. Same course. thing. My mom is secretly in these WeChat <laughs> groups with like single guy, single ladies. She's putting your photos on it. No, she doesn't. <laughs> I call her do not do that. that thing. <laughs> yeah, but um, she tells me that like she's in it for the fun to see what other parents are doing and to read their <laughs> in, it for, in it for the fun. For the fun. For the fun. <laughs> but um, well, like. Sometimes she sends me one or two profiles, and I do go like and meet these guys and have lunch with. But I think it's really hard to find the one these days because I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's more about that emotional and soul connection. Yeah. Whether if we have things to talk about, common interests, and it's kind of hard to look for that person. So interesting. Yeah. We we also saw the clip, you know, uh, during the break, and. Do you share the impression that the younger generation, they're fine to stay single, or if not, say, they prefer to stay single? What is the impression that you have? I think they got less pressure from their parents uh, compared to my generation. Mm. Um, but for my children, as long as they're actively dating or meeting active. people. <laughs> what is <laughs> that actively <laughs> dating? <laughs> As long as they don't refuse or they, they go out, have lunch, dinner, or meet with a friend, or have with, they With your open financial support. <laughs> with their own financial <laughs> support. <laughs> I like them to support themselves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, would, you, would you push them just for f the fun part, <laughs> like, uh, like Lane's mom? I would like to, but I don't think that will work. Okay. So I, I, I'm trying to stay, uh, maybe if I have opportunity, I will tell them at the right age, at this age, it's better, this is the thing you need to do. At this uh, age. Yes. Mm. But I think, um, like with the Chinese culture, which is kind of interesting, is that when you're in like elementary school, middle school, you are always told that your priority is studying. Study. Focus on your study. Once you get into university, uh, the right person will come along. But I think that is problematic because <laughs> when you're young, if you don't know how to get along with like a a like the opposite sex, then how are you supposed to know what to do in a relationship when you're in university or when you become an adult and when you find the right person? You're saying practice makes perfect. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you practice need like, is very important. experiences. <laughs> okay. To but again, back to the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the clip, and do you have that impression that the younger generation, they're fine to stay single? No well, pressure at all? Well, first, we have three very fine ladies in front of us. I always feel like it's... Uh, impossible for you guys not in a relationship so I guess you just haven't found the right one yet but what I see the, the younger generation uh, around me is like they choose to be single I mean in China the average lifespan a person is about 76 years old so you think about the life is really short so there's so many places you want to go so many things you want to do I guess for a lot of younger generation, it's always about their priority setting. So there's so many things. You can be single, there you can, there's work, there's a, a personal interest. It is all about whether you want to choose to be single or marry. But I always said that don't choose one side because you want to run away from the other option. Where do you think they have the room to choose to be single now? Well, I mean, for these generations, I mean, from my age, I don't think single is be an option. You're not part of the society who are tolerant you to do that. But for you mean the, in the old days? In the old days, for mm. sure. Now you can choose whatever the relationship you want to be, right? It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. You can be single, you can be married, you can choose same sex or opposite sex as, as much as you want. So I guess this is society have much more openness and tolerance tolerant. for younger generations to do their decisions, which is great. And the salaries are higher now these days to support mm. yourself instead mm -hmm. of uh, like in the old days. Probably the couple would have to work together to support the family. I think, yes. In, uh, a lot of families, <coughs> if you want to have children, you need two people work together. Also, maybe nowadays for girls, they don't need boy that much for the heavy labor mm. work. Mm. A lot of things can be done. <coughs> 
independently. So maybe that's one, one of the reasons. But I think if you, if you look ahead, if you're in the 60 or 90, look at your grandparents, uh, when if they're, they help each other and they're like supporting each other for that many years, isn't that a beautiful thing? If I had to share from my perspective, because I'm, I'm an 80s baby, I mean, if I see my friends, I think it's slightly different from the 90s, because the 90s, they, they don't mind being single. I think the 80s, mm. we don't want to be single, but we don't mind not getting married. So the, I Let's think say that, that again. We don't mind not getting married. So we're okay being not married, but having a partner having a companionship. Mm. But on the other hand, it seems like in the, in the 90s baby, they're okay being just on their own. I, mean, I think that's slightly different from the 80s mentality. What do you think are the uh, major reasons that are now stopping you or maybe that are now keeping you single? Uh, life is very convenient now. Like um, Jenny said, I don't need much support <laughs> from um, a yeah, partner. So a um, partner is a support? Uh, I, I was thinking, um, Back to the other times, it's not so easy for us to have all the kind of life supporting services so easily. And the, the other one is now um, the society allows female to pursue their career development. So for example, myself, too um, busy. Yeah, we, we are so busy. I, I don't feel like I have enough time to know someone well. So there's no room for um, kind of soul connection and between no me and yeah. And no compromise. And I either. don't think I can be with someone that I'm not falling in love with him. So you yeah. wouldn't. I wouldn't. You wouldn't get married just for the sake of getting married. Definitely That's not, not something that you can accept. Definitely not. And I have to say, in big cities, girls have less. Of options. So what why, do you mean girls have yeah. less options? Yeah, it's like, see, all of us are single ladies, and you can <laughs> hardly find single boys at our age, like in our position, in our industry. It's just like uh, young boys are easier to find their lovers or companions. I think a lot of the guys here in China, they marry quite young. Yeah. So mm -hmm. like people our age, when we ask them, uh, like, are you, are you, what's your status? They'll be like, oh, I'm married. My kid is two years old. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I still feel like to kid myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know? always yeah. need it. So, but then like, if we look at guys who are like five to six years slightly older, then their kids is even older, like seven or eight and stuff like that. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, all the good guys are taken. No, oh, right. good guys are taken. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're taking this opportunity. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's maybe not talk about why the guys are, all, all the good guys are taken. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think our society in China has come to the stage where, you know, single ladies are being accepted by the public? A single ladies, even with a kid, can be accepted by the, uh, by the society? Yes. I think so our society is more open than the older uh, years. It's the fact, actually, there are, there are a lot of single girls. They're excellent. Uh, maybe their, their goal is to find a perfect match or soulmate. But if they haven't met the right person, they stay single. How about the development of technology? Because okay. everyone is always on their phones, playing games, watching movies, at home, eating mm. by themselves because of these online food services. Mm. So it's almost okay for you to not socialize exactly. and, and mean, sit at home the, and do all these things. Yeah, exactly. Mm. The technology really helping the people. <laughs> Even in a big city like Beijing, you can yeah. live in a very solitary way, right? right. You, 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 as long as you have a network, you can work from home. You can, you can download whatever the entertainment from internet as you like. You can order food, supplies online. All the things you require boyfriends to do, you can have an app. Yeah, <laughs> click, exactly. click, it's done, right? And you can so why with bother them right, spend yeah. extra exactly. effort having finding one? So right? boyfriends are there to serve. <laughs> well, no, I thought it's all, all about no, love found. <laughs> of course, love helps, but you still need to serve, right? <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. Boys are <laughs> there to surf. Anyway, now let's take another break, and when we come back, we're going to shift to a new topic, and this time it's more neutral. It's more about <laughs> consuming habits. Yeah, we'll be right back. Stay with yeah. us. It's just every clothes. Uh, 
呃，为什么的话，就是呃，在外在，外在好看最重要。可能是穿衣或者是吃方面，对啊，生活费如果有余下的话，可能就会花费啊什么。原因，欲望嘛，想要啊。我一般的话对于教育，然后就是新鲜事物，然后一些兴趣爱好的培养。特别愿意在旅行中花钱。一个是旅行中可以给你带来很多新鲜的体验，就比如说逛集、潜水这一类的。它虽然不像说买件衣服是你可以一直，比如一两年，但是这个体验是你一生中应该有。Welcome back to the studio, and we were just talking about love beliefs earlier, talking about work values, and now we want to talk about how they're spending their cash. But just before that, Jachi is back, <laughs> yes. uh, and he has some tips to share with the girls <laughs> about, you know, being single or not being single. Okay, so what are the tips? Yeah, I was there to hear that it's quite hard to find a good boy. So, uh, like yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, you. Girls can get some information like what kind of guy you want. For example, you want to find someone who is responsible mm -hmm. for their work. Mm -hmm. So nowadays, some like boys they work very late, like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. So after that, what are they gonna do? Go back to sleep. Yeah, but others maybe they want to do some workout to mm -hmm. do, do fitness. Ooh. So maybe the time is about 10 p.m. They are in a fitness gym. So what kind of person you want? Responsible for oh. their work, responsible mm. for their body, oh. and uh, mm. like they want to make, make themselves better? Think about this information, so then should, where you mm. can find them, ah. and uh, get, that, get in that they circle. They are all gays. <laughs> it depends. Hey. This kind hey. of person uh, are uh, gays. Is that where you met your girlfriend? In um, the gym? No. Uh, me and my girlfriend met in a, a restaurant. I'm, a, I'm the waiter, she's the waitress. Yeah, that's oh. why I'm oh. trying to do some restaurant so, business. So I just give a suggestion, but actually I think love is about luck, actually. You know what? I mean, love, oh. this topic is so, so much more interesting than anything like work or spending habits. <laughs> but still, we need to talk about this new topic. It's about spending habits. And remember the video clip, it w uh, they're being asked about where they would like to spend their money. Mm -hmm. Where would you like to? I feel like the busier, the more I spend because I feel like life is so, um, pre so um, boring. Yeah. <laughs> it's like such a heavy pressure. I should buy something, um, but most likely uh, I would spend money on visiting like Michelin star restaurants, and I really like go exhibitions um, and all kinds of per performances like opera, dramas. Ooh. These are the areas I spend the most. Okay. And uh, yeah, sometimes friends may think some of the tickets are too expensive. So I, I feel like people have different um, ideas about so it. So what is the most expensive, say, concert or exhibit that you went to? Um, I, I went to like J. Joe's um, Singer concert. Yeah. yeah. And um, how how expensive was were that? Were you in the VIP section? Two thousand. <laughs> um, Three thousand. Yeah. Three thousand for a ticket. <laughs> um, but you know, there were it's a different experience. It's like yeah, <laughs> my as long as the money she made by herself. <laughs> <laughs> You're an open mom. Three thousand. No problem at all. If you really like it, right? Of of course, I can make more, much more money than three thousand. I can do it. But for younger generation, it's a choice. You have to give up something and do this. Would you I do it? Well, at my age, personally. Personally, I'm not going to spend it with <laughs> Jay Chow, maybe <laughs> someone else. <laughs> yeah, everyone, we're saying it's right for you to spend your own money, yeah. but mm -hmm. we're not going to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, what Travel. do you say? Travel. Travel. Yeah, because I used to be a, a editor for a travel guide, Lonely Planet, and oh. that's a work e experience that requires you to travel a lot, but I have to pay for everything, so I kind of like uh, my parents helped me to pay my house rent and I saved money for traveling. Mm. I feel quite guilty to be honest. Jachi. So in the future say a little planning and then where would you like to spend your salary on? Uh, generally experience like a good earphone I can wear every day 
and uh, maybe a car drive uh, 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 the feeling of driving is good or like the restaurant the food is good uh -huh. and uh, yeah something like I will spend on them every day and uh, it's feeling good would you would you consider saving say 30 percent of the uh, monthly monthly salary Maybe fifty percent. Fifty percent. Wow, oh, that's mm. that's pretty. Uh, cool. That's a rare answer from a from a nineties kid. I so think. Why, why would you like to save fifty percent? There's a lot of things we need to do in the future. Kids, wow. education, wow. many things. Oh my so God! You're the responsible oh, on the other side. Yeah. Wow, oh. Emma, what do you think? Very impressed. How much do you save? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to save like uh, thirty to forty percent, um, but I would say fifty is quite crazy. <laughs> May so I know how much to uh, <laughs> earn? So I, I mean, is there, cool. before I, I, tell, I, tell, I answer your question, <laughs> <laughs> um, there's this phrase in Chinese called uh, Yue Guangzu, yeah. Moonlight Clan, which means you spend all you have every month according yeah. to the lunar calendar, right? Yeah. That's why they call it the Moonlight Clan. I am kind of in that category even though I'm not in the 90s. Not responsible. No, maybe because I'm not making enough i don't know like i, no, I guess you're spending too much <laughs> I, I guess it's it's about um as long as you res you're responsible for yourself it's fine let's put it this way say i mean mm -hmm. in your personal experience what is that one story where you probably had a different opinions about how to spend the money with your parents Did, okay you have uh, one uh what i bought my parents may not understand is like my power lifting equipment Powerlifting mm -hmm. is kind of fitness, and uh, mm -hmm. what, what is that? Powerlifting. Lifting. Power I, guess, lifting. I, I guess you're talking about dumbbells. Yeah, or something or like that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Basically, it's um, like fitness equipment. A mm -hmm. top class equipment. It's not that that expensive, but uh, it it costs uh, 400 yuan to buy a wrist wrap. If you buy a, a normal rubber a wrap, maybe it costs only 30 yuan. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you think that way, uh, for, uh, 400 yuan, you can use like 10 years and you can enjoy a top class experience. But would That's you use cheap. it for 10 years? And it's not that expensive. It's, it's just ex more expensive compared with the normal rubber one. Wait, are you just saying it? Or uh, actually you I have just uh, made yeah. the purchase to show off, mm. to gain the likes on, on social media? Uh, no, I, I just think it's not that uh, unaffordable and uh, and it, it's like it's good it feels good when i use it so the thing is it feels good if i own this right mm -hmm. it feels good it's experience. important to you uh, i mean i mean the product itself it's good uh, yeah. Yeah. the product <laughs> yeah. it feels good yeah. not the purchase itself yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, i mean the like, moment i used this mm -hmm. the product itself it's good. I enjoy the experience. Mm, uh, that's okay. what I mean. Uh, actually, I used to think it's quite unacceptable for young people to buy luxurious bags or other luxurious items until I have a friend and she's working in public relationship company. She told me, uh, it's like uh, we were all junior um, staff in company. So actually she spent um, like more than a month's salary for luxurious bags. But she told me um, she had to do so because everyone in the industry, um, they are trying to show to people that you are, you are very capable for projects. That's why you get a lot of money from mm. your job. Then it's kind of a sign that you are very professional and you are working very well. Mm. So I, at the end, I feel more understandable for this kind of consumption habit. Yeah. As the engineering background guy, I kind of, I think it's meaningless. <laughs> 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 That's, That's like the Devil yeah. West Prada. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wonder what was your comment on, you know, their stories. My question is whether the money she traveled <laughs> is <laughs> your own money your own or not, yeah, or your parents. Well, the <laughs> travel <laughs> expense, her own. But remember, her parents are not paying the loan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Get right mortgage, now, it's yeah. all my money. Mm. It used to be my parents paying my house rent, and I'm using the saving money to travel. So but right now, I'm. Literally, it's they paying are paying for, your for my yeah yeah traveling but expenses. Right now, I'm uh, I earn more, so I can pay my own house rent and my traveling budget. Mm -hmm. Where would you like to spend your money on? I mean, basically, they're saying traveling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're saying you Personal. know whatever that makes them feel good. 
Yeah. So I will, I will I'll spend on both. Number one is for my kids, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I've spent lots of money for the education, you know, mm -hmm. development, everything. But on the other side, as I said, I also want to entertain myself. So mm -hmm. I spend quite some money on the photography. I love taking wow. photos. Mm -hmm. I, you know, cameras are extremely expensive. It's very costly. It's, yeah, especially you need <laughs> to all upgrade. The all the lenses. Yeah, yes. all the lenses. If you want to buy a Leica, that's like cost you fortune. But that helps me because that's my interest. I, that's going to have a lot of positive <laughs> impact in my life, you know. I would do it. Yeah, I mean, basically, so long as it's your own money. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have this impression of the younger generation. Yeah. I don't know, because I'm in between. Like, when I, when, I, you know, when I go out, I see a lot of people having really nice phones. I only have an iPhone 6. I mean, a lot of young people have, like, the newest iPhone. Mm -hmm. And I always wonder, I, I, wonder I, I guess I'm not making more, I'm making less than them. I mean, mm. or, or they're just spending more. Well, it's just we are not giving you enough pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough peer, peer pressure. pressure. Yeah, right. Right. In the end, uh, still, I would like you to share with us your impression of the major difference of spending habits between your generation and your parents' generation. I kind of have a feeling that I'm spending money to buy more time and my parents are spending more time to save money. Like, Say that again. You're spending money to buy time. Yeah. Well, they are spending time to save money. Money, yes. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we, when we are all very exhausted and say, "Mom, can we just call and get a food delivery?" My mom said, "No, I, 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 I need to cook by myself. Uh, the food delivery is so expensive." As a mom, it's just like sixty kwai mm -hmm. for three people. And my mom said, 60 kwai is 60 kwai. Like, <laughs> if I made a homemade by myself, I can save like 40 or 50 years. Mom, it's insane. <laughs> like, like, your time worth more than <laughs> that. <laughs> if you actually divide up the hours that she puts into cooking. Yeah, <laughs> but my mom just simply don't see that. In general speaking, the, the older generation tend to, their, live, their spending standard is like to survive, right? Mm -hmm. Anything beyond survive, it's the money they wasted. But for younger generation, is to live. Live means you spend money for quality rather than for quantity or for the survival needs. I think that's the major difference. I don't feel very much different, uh, but I'm with them. I think uh, spending on travel, spending on their, uh, what made them feel good or exercise equipment is good. Uh, so long as they're so spending their own money. Sometimes I would, <laughs> if, the, if the parents would lie to, because they, now their generation, most likely they have their parents, they have two pair of grandparents, grandparents may be doing well, also give them a lot of pocket money, but uh, as long as they're not spoiled, mm. it's, it's, it's okay. Like, if I work hard for two weeks, I probably will go out to buy, go out to buy something good, make me feel good too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's personal priority. I would put education, like if I pay my kids tuition without a blink, mm. I will pay a big chunk of money. That's not spending, that's investing. That's investment, mm. maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's not, I'm not counting it to pay back mm. as long as they can have their own career, doing well, like that's my daughter payback. is doing well. That's probably the best payback. A way to yeah. look at it. Yeah. Again, like we said earlier, we're not trying to say which lifestyle is better. Mm -hmm. We're only saying, we are assuming that there are some differences uh, between the different generations in either spending habits or uh, in the notion, their understanding of love and relationships or in, in the workforce. And also in work. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I think it makes sense because young people are are weathered by the after effects of globalization. So it mm. makes sense that, you know, the mindsets are different between the old and the new. And, and that's just how the world is. And I think exactly. that's what makes life interesting. That's what we call progress. Yes. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Once again, thank you very much for coming to Crossover. Thank you for sharing your stories. Thank you for joining the show. And thank you for watching this episode of Crossover. We'll see you again next week. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>